Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on the drill. Now I've been trying to get good legendary effects on this weapon for a while now. Couldn't do it with modules, but I got a decent bloodied one from an event. So yeah, I thought I'd try it out, so let's do this. Okay, so just in case you want to copy the build that I used, I'm going to show you the perk cards that I use, the perk points, and the legendary perks. Of course, you can switch this build up however you want. I did just throw this build together fairly quickly, just, you know, with all the damage perks that I would need to uh, show off what this weapon can do. And this is very similar to what you would have for a chainsaw or even an auto axe. Maybe not the auto axe. If you have the electric mod, you may want to throw on um, science perks as well with this so if you can squeeze those on then you can use all three of those weapons because this weapon isn't as powerful as the chainsaw and the drill but it is still a lot of fun um, another thing to note is that there is a mod for the drill it's called the puncturing mod piercing drill bit sorry about that and the, the way you'll get this is just by scrapping drills so that's all you can really do to get it definitely makes a bit of a difference you'll want it on your drill um, this is the drill that I will be using. Like I said, I got a decent roll. I don't know if weapon speed does anything. I have a feeling it's like the chainsaw on the auto axe where it doesn't really help. But nonetheless, this was still a decent roll to use. And just another thing to point out too, you can easily get melee buffs by killing um, like a Yao Guai and a Deathclaw. And you can easily turn the meat you get from them into food to help you buff the damage for this weapon. As you can see, plus 6 strength and 120 melee damage. And yeah, that's just the start. You can get more than that as well. And I just wanted a couple of buffs on here just to show you the damage that this thing can do. And as you can see, like regular mobs just will not have a chance. This thing is so much fun. Um, especially when you're taking out a horde of ghouls like I did here. Pretty much insta-killing them, like you can barely see their health bar. Absolutely just runs through regular mobs. I had lots of fun using this weapon, I'm not gonna lie. So, I took out a couple of enemies and I'm like, alright, let's see what it, we can really do. We'll try it against a Mirelurk Queen. It's doing very good against the Mirelurk King there. A regular Mirelurk's pretty much a write-off. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, we'll probably have an easy time with the Queen here. Probably, you know, insta-killer almost. And, yeah, you're gonna see I'm gonna fight another King over here as well. Took him out fairly fast. Like, you won't have a problem killing enemies. But you're going to see here, when I went to fight the Mirelurk Queen, just keep in mind that, you know, she could just smack you out cold pretty quick there. So just be prepared for that, that uh, your defenses aren't the greatest with this build. Um, I'm sure you can make them better than I did on the perk card set there. But I just wanted to show as well, too, it still does more than a little bit of damage to the Mirelurk Queen here. Takes her out quick enough, and I was able to pretty much kill her without her killing me. I think I had a bit of bad luck there. Um, another thing to point out as well, like if you wanted to take out um, Super Mutants, uh, level 100 specifically by using the elevator, maybe to get some extra XP during a double XP event, the drill is absolutely phenomenal for taking out the Super Mutants. It'll pretty much just insta-kill them as you walk up to them. It's extremely satisfying to do. Um, here's a behemoth that I came up to to really show the damage that this weapon could do. I think this proves enough here. If you can do this to a behemoth, then this weapon is more than worth using, especially since you're fighting general mobs 90% of the time. Would I go fight a Scorch Beast Queen or Earl with this weapon by myself? Probably not, but it will do some damage to them. But it's just definitely more fun taking out anything that's not a boss enemy, like a behemoth. Um, even like a Deathclaw or just level 100 Super Mutants, maybe even a Mirelurk Queen if you're feeling uh, courageous. But again, regular mobs, you're just going to run right through them. This weapon is totally worth using. I really did not expect it to be this good and I had tons of fun using this today. Um, here it is against the Scorch Beast Queen. I kept the Railway Rifle on me just to help cripple her wings and concentrate at fire in my build, as you can see, just to make the Scorch Beast land so I could get at them. 
And that was pretty much the only problem you would have with this build at getting enemy Scorch Beast might give you a bit of a problem. But overall, my opinion was this weapon was a lot of fun. I highly recommend trying this, especially if you're bored. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you've tried this or if you want to try it, I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.